Get a report. Get a report. Get a report. Get a report. Podcast. Countdown. I don't need a countdown, man. Um, Caso, paint the picture. You know, we had to come back to Chicago, interview my guy. He's been going up ever since we lost, um, last left. He was already up, but he's going up even more. Um, we 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 got some questions, you know, so we had to we had to come back. And sure. um, we appreciate everything you did for us too. For I sure. gotta mention that, you know, DJ, you solid guy. Introduce yourself, as you know. Again, go ahead, man. My check one two one two. Y'all know what to do. It's the kid DJ. You get a report podcast. Me in the rack with it. Yes, sir. So we getting straight into it. Uncut. We interviewed Charleston White. Word. And he told us that it was it was fake. It was staged. Him pulling out the. Yeah. What's your thoughts on that? Man, that 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 rubs me the wrong way. You know. Um. But that that's his alibi. You know what I mean. Um. What 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 you think? So when he said it was fake, like what what that meant to you? What what was was fake? What was fake about it? Well, like it was staged, right? Like, like meaning I I mean and I was in on it. Yeah, you was in. on See, it. See, that's some bullshit. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Excuse my French. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's that's that. I don't like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's uh, goofy as hell. Yeah. That's how we talk in Chicago. Yeah, yeah. that's how you talk. So. So I ain't gonna lie, Charles White a goof. Yeah. Yeah. He probably he 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 saying I was staged to save face. You know what I'm saying? Like folks is really an old ass goofy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's 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 really what it boiled down to, you know? Yeah. He went crazy in the interview. It was a great interview, you feel me? If you go watch the interview, which you know over six hundred thousand people done already did, like it was a great interview. I wasn't talking no shit to him. Like, we weren't talking about no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It was an interview about, you know, the the, the black struggle in America. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, he just wild out and, 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 and pull out a gun. And, and the reason why I can't be okay with him saying that it's fake mm-hmm. or staged is because, one, that means I would have had been in on it. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? And I wasn't in on it. You know what I mean? Um, but for two, that situation could have played out many different type of ways. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? That shit won stage. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, so what I mean by that is he, 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 he upped a a gun, bro. Mm -hmm. Like I could have reacted many different ways. My people could have reacted many different ways. Let's just thank God. You know, we 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 were able to keep our composure, you know what I mean? Yeah. And he was able to live and, and, and say that it was fake, but he know that one fake. So, because I, you know, we sat down with Charleston too, and what we get from Charleston is he's a different person outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can, I ain't gonna lie. I know I know shit be for the content and, yeah. and shout out to Charleston White, you know. But I can't keep I can't let him keep running with. It was stage because that makes me look like I was in on it and I won in on it. So I feel like if you had the balls to do all that, just man up and say, "Yeah, this what happened." Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's that's what happened. Yeah. He got scared of that backlash. That's yeah. what it was. So, <clears throat> what what happened after? Like the cameras turned off. What happened? Oh, and we got up out of there. Yeah. He where did he go? He didn't. I don't know. We he, left. No, he was still there, like, you know, going on his little rant or. What you mean? Like when, when the camera, you know how he was going on his little rant, pulled right. out his gun. Did he calm down? When the cameras cut off, did he calm down or? When the cameras cut off, we got out of there. Yeah, y'all just took So I don't know what he was doing. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We was gone. We turned our cameras off and exit stage yeah. left. It yeah. wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like but, that's, that is literally how to. Interview ended. You know what I'm saying? That one no, you know. Yeah. That's how it ended. Yeah, so like I was saying, we sat down with Charleston and what we what I get from Charleston is he ain't the same as, you know, outside the interviews, he different. He seemed like a cool dude. He you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like when the cameras come on, he's he's acting. Lights camera acting. Light lights camera action. He's going 
he's going in. You know what I'm saying? So to say that was staged, I didn't believe it was staged. I, I, I watched the video. I didn't believe it was staged. To say that stage is like it's that was know, goofy. WWF, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that's you know what I'm saying? saying. That was goofy. And I took a lot of flack for that. You know what I'm saying? And like yeah. I said, you know, me, me, me sharing this with you now, you know, coming almost a year later, you know what I'm saying? It was on Thanksgiving, so whatever, you know. What's that? Eight months ago. Uh you know, just just re this this is really just me reflecting right now. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, man, he been running with this. It's fake story for so long, you know, because, uh, you know, I just did the interview with No Jumper, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And he, uh, he, 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 he said the same thing, and I told him, like, nah, it wasn't staged. But, you know, now that, you know, as I reflect on it more, it's like, come on, bro, like, you know, like. Yeah. So, you know, shout out to Charleston White, but folks is what we like to call the goofy in Chicago, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and it had me looking very goofy in Chicago, you know, mm -hmm. as if I was co-signing his goofiness, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um. So, yeah, man, I, I, I don't appreciate Charles and White telling the folks that that shit was staged, especially because when he got online and told them it was staged, this was right after me and him had just got off the phone, mm -hmm. literally. Like, he had called me. He called me, and he was saying some shit about, uh, they won't, they won't, um... Uh, they want to do a debate between me and you on Say Cheese TV. A debate about what? Like on some, I don't know, shit. The, the great debaters type shit, you know what I mean? But they want to DJ you versus Charleston White on Say Cheese TV. At least this was he, this is what he telling me, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I never received this word from Sean Cotton himself, but this is what Charleston White was telling me, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and I'm like, okay, well, shit, keep me posted, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. As soon as we got off the phone... This nigga online telling everybody a stage. Literally. So, yeah. so, so let me go back to what I was just saying. I said we was on the phone. You feel me? And he was talking about X, Y, and Z. And when we got off the phone, he did some whole other shit. And so when I saw him doing that, I'm like, okay, is this him setting up the play for the for the for the the the, 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 the debate show? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Anybody seen the uh, Charles the White and DJU debate on Say Chase? Hell no. All right. So, okay, so yeah, you mentioned a phone call. It's crazy you say that too because he did say he called, he got on the phone with your peoples afterwards. Like, yo, he said he spoke to your mom or something like that. He said um, he got on the phone and made sure, you know, they, they understood it wasn't real. So when he got on the phone with you, he, what did he say to you? Uh, well, actually, uh, nah. See, that's what I'm saying. Like hell, <laughs> oh no, man. You know, it's 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 it, look. It's hard to keep up with your own lies, let alone another nigga lies. Right, right, you know what I'm trying right, to say? Right. Like so, um, you know, it, it's just a lot that he says be far from the truth. Yeah. And me just being the type of guy that I am. I'll run with a nigga's story. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to throw you under the bus. You feel me? If that's, you know, if that's your one too, I you. Uh, but in regards to, like, speaking with my people and shit, like, nah. It, he want, he, and he ain't, bro, it was, even at that time, because if he talking about, like, right after, because, you know, this shit was on Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's family time, you know? So, of course, you know, I had family that, was, if, especially with the shit going viral shit, the whole family was interested in, yeah. you know what I mean, yeah. what was going on. So, I think he had called me, uh, I think, yeah, I think he had called me, like, I was, like, in the kitchen or something. It was Thanksgiving, and I'm like, I'm, you know, I had my, my mom and my auntie and them, I'm shit, I'm telling them, like, as the phone rang, I'm like, shit, he go Charles away right now, because he, you know, we were just talking about him, you know? Yeah. So, speaking of the devil, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look who calling me right now, you know? Mm -hmm. And he was on some, um, he was on some real humble, you know, real humble shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Real humble, real apologetic, you know what I mean? But it wasn't never, you know, that was fake. It was more like, you know, my bad. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I ain't mean to do all that. Yeah. You know, DJ, you, that's a good guy. Fuck with him. Woo, woo. You know, I just want to let y'all know, you know, it wasn't nothing like that. You know, happy that, you know, it was like that. It yeah. wasn't never like. Yeah. Like I said, that fake shit came like, you know. 
So when he asked, asked for he asked for the uh, debate, what you told him? What was your response? No, I told him, let's do it. You know, I thought that was a great idea. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially at that time. Like yeah. I said, that's what he said. He said it'd be on Say Cheese TV. So they was trying to find a location to do it at somewhere in Dallas or something. You know what I mean? They was going to fly me out. This is what he was telling me. You did mm-hmm. what I'm trying to tell you? So, um, yeah. And then right after we got off the phone, he got online, uploaded some video on Instagram of him saying that, that whole situation was fake. It was yeah. staged. So then I started getting backlash because now all my people looking at me like, oh, you was in on that shit? And then that's when the whole Mimo 600 thing started coming, you know what I'm saying? Because it made me look like like I set that up. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like I set it up for views or I set it up for clout. What, 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 what Mimo say? Well, he just, you know, he just had the... Uh, he had the hood nigga, you know what I'm saying, um, response to it. You know, how you let how you let folks diss phone them mama. Like, all right, that's going to be your average Chicago nigga response. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a lot of average Chicago niggas that watch DJ UTV. No offense, but it's a lot of average Chicago niggas outside, period. So, um, you know, I receive, you know, the average nigga backlash. Yeah. And, and what was your response to that? I'm not an average nigga, so I'm not even finna, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not even finna act like I, you know, agree with y- your criticism. But I am constructive of all cr- constri- uh, criticism, excuse me. Yeah. And I'm also aware of the situation that I put myself in. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, 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 I confronted it head on just like I do anything else in life. All right. So w- do you feel like you, you made a mistake with that interview or you made a mistake? Hell no. Nah. Okay. Oh, how you handled it? No. Hell no. Nah. What mistake? Yeah. I ain't made no mistake. Yeah. I'm the smartest nigga in Chicago. <laughs> why you say I that? ain't make no mistake. Yeah. Shit. Why, why you say I that? I actually uh, executed, uh, yeah. you feel me, uh, uh, a well thought out plan and strategy. Yeah. Uh, you know, it don't be my plan. It be God's plan. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. God don't make no mistakes. Right. I don't think it was a mistake either. No, it wasn't no mistake. Like, people, when you do these interviews, they be like, they want you to smack the shit out of somebody. Yo, it's like, yo, what I'm sitting down, it's, the goal is to get the money. I don't know what I'm going to say. We went straight to the bank. Yeah. The go- no. The so that's why I still got to shout out Charles and White. Yeah. I ain't going to sound ungrateful. Yeah. So that was your biggest interview? Um, shit, either that one or the other one, me and him did. Oh, with Charleston? Yeah. Oh, y'all did too? Yeah. Which one was first? The one we did right here. Okay, that was first. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And you, the the first one was might have been as big as the the, the viral moment. The first one was bigger. Yeah. <laughs> the first one was a viral moment. The interview was a viral moment. Okay. Period. Okay. Um, I gotta ask you this because I've been seeing you do these interviews and stuff. You be having a wig. That's on. why he had to do. Oh, you know oh. what I mean? That's why he had to do what he did. You know what I mean? Because he oh, know the he, first one was lit. He was trying to top it. Yeah. You know, the first one was lit. You know what I mean? Yeah. He, was trying, he was trying to top it. Yeah. So, um, I got to ask you this. We'll we get back to Charleston. But um, you be doing these interviews. No, nah, we can wrap Charleston up, though. I, I fuck with Charleston. Why he cool? Uh, wrap him up? Yeah, we can it's, wrap him up. You got some more questions about him? <laughs> nah, nah. But, you know, fuck it. That'll, we, that'll we, be your Charleston White clip. You know yeah. what I mean? We'll keep it moving. All right. So, let me ask you this. What, um, You've been doing these interviews. Word. And um, I see you wearing a wig. Yeah, yeah. Wig, man. man, I had, uh, <laughs> you know, I had did the Jerry U. I had okay. did the Jerry, you know, the Jerry. And, you know, so I just, uh, you know, I, I just keep the I just keep the wig in the cut, you know what I mean? Whenever, whenever I just feel like, you know, turning up. Yeah. Um, wh- where'd you get that wig from, man? Man, I had went to some, uh, where I was at, gang? Uh, over there, uh... I know I was on 80. I was at a beauty, you know what I'm saying? A little beauty supply. <laughs> so you went in there. On oh, 87. Yeah, somewhere on 87, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was tweaking when I, uh, they was tweaking when I was looking for it. What, what made you do that, though? Because you, cause you said you. For the Jerry. Jerry U. For okay, the Jerry. Yeah, I seen the Jerry U. It was, it was Queen D and Tati. Is that the right. one? Right. <laughs> that's what, you know what I'm saying? That's where the, that's where the idea came from for the, for the Jerry U. What, what, what made you do Jerry U? 
Uh, R.I.P. Jerry, you know, that's real Chicago history. You know okay. what I'm saying? Jerry Springer was yeah. actually filmed yeah. here in Chicago. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't know that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, Jerry Springer got kids with a black woman here in Chicago. Right. You feel me? So we just wanted to pay homage, you know what I'm saying, to a Chicago legend. Is that story true about them kids? That's, those are his? That's yeah, them his kids. Oh, okay. I, I don't know if, if the story about him leaving yeah. all his, you know what I'm saying, his stuff for them was true. I don't think that was true, but, yeah, he got black kids. Yeah, okay. Because I, um, I seen something on it, and it was trying to say that was staged or something. That wasn't yeah, right, the, so. the part that um, it was it was like it had went viral that he was leaving all his, you know, yeah. his houses and oh, stuff. So that, that but that one real, real right. with, with, with his kids on there and stuff? Yeah. Oh, no, them was his kids, but that one real. You know oh, what I'm okay, saying? okay, okay. So, um, uh, R.I.P. to uh, Jerry. Yeah, Spencer yeah, too. for yeah, sure, yeah, for yeah, sure. That was a great show. So, um, <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, yeah, yeah. Jerry. Yeah. So, um, last time I was here, I touched on something, but I didn't really get in depth about it. What was that? King Vaughn. Yeah. You was there the night he got killed. I was. Um, where you was at? You was inside. Um, no, I was outside. Oh, outside. Yeah, I was outside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was outside. So, um, from your point of view, I don't, I don't want to get into the specifics about the incident, but from mm -hmm. your point of view, um, how was his move leading up to that? Uh, he was turned because yeah. uh, we had just did the album release party. Yeah. Folks was turned. Yeah. I ain't going to lie. He was having the time of his life. And then the incident happens. Right. Um. What was your thoughts? Like, what was going through your mind when, you, like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's kind of like, uh, you know, it's it's, nah, it's like you don't even believe it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Like, hell no, nah, because you know it happened so fast. You know, yeah. shit just happened so fast, bro. Life is crazy. Yeah. So it's like, it was just really unbelievable. Even when I still sit here and talk about it now, it's kind of like unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that shit was unbelievable. So, um. The police get the shooting too. Allegedly. That shit was unbelievable. Right. <laughs> was you close to getting hit? No, no, I wasn't. I wasn't in the vicinity of any bullets. Thank God. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Um, close enough to hear. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. But not in the vicinity of. Yeah. At that time. Okay. You know what I'm saying. So I heard I heard what was going on, but I didn't know. You know what I'm trying to say. I didn't know that that's what was going on. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So, um, w when did you realize he was shot? On uh, the next morning. Huh? Yeah. You didn't know he was shot? Right there, no. Nah. Like I said, I just heard, but I didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know that that was folding them. Like, I was, I was a ways away. I didn't even know that they was there. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I was in the area at that time. You feel me? Okay. But I wasn't right there at the, so, at the spot. Oh, you was on your way to the spot? Or? Nah, like I said, I didn't even know that they was there. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So, so I heard, I heard, I heard gunshots, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. But I didn't know who was shooting and who had got yeah, shot, you yeah, know what right. I mean? And you found out the next... Yeah, when I woke up. Okay. Did, um, did anybody ever try to ask you about that situation? Come interview you or, like, say the police contact? Hell no. Nah. Okay. So, um... When you found out, when you found out that happened, Word. um, you still you couldn't believe it. You just like what the fuck? Yeah, it was like like I said, uh, literally like unbelievable on some shit. Like, but then you like hold on, hold on, you know, like damn, that was that's what we was hearing last night. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, yeah, it's just it's I don't know. De you know, death is a weird feeling. Right. You know what I mean? I was thinking about that shit early on some shit like. Like I just, you know, like, 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 one of the homies died yesterday, you know what I'm saying? And then when I woke up this morning, you know, one of the little homies, you know what I'm saying, from college type shit, he, you know what I mean? He, he died, so I'm like, damn, death is weird. Like, it's like you, it's like you want to feel sad, but you damn near ain't got time to feel sad. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like. Life goes on, you feel me? Yeah. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. Um, <clears throat> there was rumors on the net, right? Saying people was stealing, his friends were stealing up. That shit was crazy. Um, 
stealing out his house. Why did why why you think the net did that? Why did people? I mean, oh man, you know the internet is a dangerous place. You feel me? Anything mm-hmm. goes on the internet. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Yeah. So you know that shit. You see what's going on now? They dropping all these jail yeah. videos. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like the internet will do anything. Yeah. So you know, yeah, I felt like that wasn't right either. Too them saying that you know, they was they was posting yeah. pictures of his. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like his dead, what you call it? His dead body. Autopsy. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I couldn't watch. I I didn't look at none of that. But I'm saying I I don't think that was you know these dudes is grieving. You're talking about they stealing out the house, man. That that was kind of crazy to me. You know? I don't nobody care. Yeah, like no, man, let them care. grieve, no, man. Um, care, man. So when when did you f- fly back to Chicago? Like right after that? No, no, no. I was living in the A. Oh, you was living there. Yeah. Yeah. What made you leave? What made me leave? Yeah. Uh, I ain't leave until like a year later. Yeah. But what made me leave, what made me leave the A? Mm-hmm. Shit, I just wanted to come back home. You was homesick. Um, uh, no, nah, I just tired of being in the A. Just wanted to come back home. Yeah. I really just, uh, I was ready to build DJ UTV, and I knew that Chicago was the place for me to be. Yeah, that was your plan. Yeah, for sure. Like you mentioned, there's a lot of um videos dropping right now. Work. Jail videos. And stuff like that. Some of King Vaughn. Yeah, for sure. Um, Folks was in a beating shit, crunching yeah, niggas. Yeah. So, um, man. So when you see them videos, what, what was your thoughts? Man, I'm glad I wasn't locked up with that nigga. Yeah. On my mom. Yeah, he was going crazy. Folks was in there crunching shit. Was he telling them stories when you was around him? Hell no. Like, I was in there beating shit. I mean, you'll probably hear him say some shit like that, you know? Yeah. But, nah, he wasn't necessarily sharing his stories. When I was around him, he was really, like, in album mode. Yeah. So, you know, I'd just be around him, you know, making music type yeah. shit. You feel me? Performing songs. Um, so, I never, you know, I never heard those stories. You know what yeah. I mean? But they, 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 wouldn't, they wouldn't have been hard to believe. Yeah. So, um, you, didn't, you, didn't hear no, you didn't hear no stories from other people about him doing those them fights in jail and all of that? I mean, nah, hell nah, because you got to think, bro, shit, you know, jail is a whole nother world. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, unless you communicating with other niggas that's in jail, you know, you don't really hear those things. But, um, King Von definitely had a reputation in the streets of Chicago to where you just heard his name. You know what I mean? You know that name ring bells. Who was King Von? King Von, I heard that name before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he was, he was one of them for sure. Yeah. You went to his services? Nah, unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, I did not. What was it? What was the services at? Uh, I don't know. I think they were. Uh, I think they were here in Chicago, though. Um, um, you you in contact with like anybody? You, you know, y'all used to be around and stuff like that. Like, uh, you know, his entourage's friends or whatever the case may be. Nah, unless I'm hitting them up to uh, interview them. Yeah. Um, you interview a lot of his ops. Yeah. And um just recently. Yeah. We seen you with the FYBJ main chain on. <laughs> That's funny. It do hit different. It do hit different when you're interviewing his ops and you have the FYBJ main. It chain hit on. different. It do hit different. So did did any of them hit you up with about that? Or anybody hit you up and mention that? Like man. Yeah, no. Probably some fans. How you gonna DJ? Right, that's that's some shit a fan to say. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But not 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 nobody that matter. Yeah. Because the people that matter know, you know, they know what's going on. They know what's yeah. going on. Yeah, for sure. So, how the interview go with FYBJ, man? Man, that's lit, man. Shout out to FYBJ, man. Yeah. It do hit different. Do your homework. Yeah. He turned. He's turned. What you what you think about him? He has a great personality. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, And personality sells, you know? Yeah. Uh, he got a lot of charisma, mm-hmm. you know? Um. And, you know, he come from a troubled path, you know, so to see him trying to, uh, you know, uh, right his wrongs, you know what I'm saying, and better his situation, not only for himself, but for his daughter and his family as well, you know, um, that is honorable uh, regardless of what side of town you're from, you know? Right, right. Um, FYBJ man got the net lit, I can't even lie. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You know what I'm when, when's that dropping? Man, I'm trying to drop, uh, you know, my FYBJ main interview shit ASAP. So it'll be, you know, it'll definitely be out and rolling by the time this come out. Okay. So um, let's get back to all these videos dropping. Word. Because um, 
you got beef with Lil J? No, I ain't got no beef with Lil J. I don't even know him. Okay. Because um, a lot of videos been dropping about Lil J. You been doing that? He in there beating shit. Okay. Who's he beating, though? I don't know. He in there crunching motherfuckers, though. Okay. I just saw one video. Somebody ran up on him with the Glock Dookie. Uh-huh. And he beat dude ass. I'm damn. Now, he he beat his ass. Like, he he beat his ass. Like, yeah. a real good a real good ass beat. Like, dude, dude bogus for getting his ass beat. How you going to run up on somebody with the Glock Dookie and then get your ass beat? Yeah. It do hit different when a motherfucker get their ass beat and they the one with the Glock Dookie. I actually you have beef with um, Lil J because... Right. He might have issues with you. I'm sure he will. Because you're interviewing all. I just interviewed his trans lover, R- yeah. Red Montana. Yeah. As uh, Jay Main say, the transmissions. Yeah, so, the transformers. Yeah, the transformers. I don't know where he got that from, but um, <laughs> they say you, the rumor is you're paying them to say that. What? Th- that's what the rumor is. I'm paying somebody to do what? To make up all these stories on Lil J. Is that a rumor? Yeah. It's bullshit. Or is that something you just came over? No, with? no. I, oh, definitely. I ain't never heard no um, shit. I heard, <laughs> I heard today. No bullshit. I heard <laughs> Trenches News talk about it. Word. Saying Lil J saying, you pay. That ain't true. We know, <laughs> we know you ain't pay these motherfuckers to make up Hell these stories. Nah. There's too many stories coming from. Man. First of all. Do your homework on Red Montana. Yeah. You feel me? You got to do your homework just to find Red Montana. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you mentioned Red Montana. You did an interview with her. That's a trans woman. Right. Do you For think- those that don't know what a trans woman is, that's a chick with a st- stick. Oh, but I thought she got the surgery and got rid of it. But she was born. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Um Do you think she was forthcoming? And I ain't gonna lie to her. I think she lied. I think she still got her penis. <laughs> why why you say, why you why you say that? Cause niggas be lying. Yeah. Bitches be lying. Yeah. This is a person that don't know if it's a nigga or a bitch. Yeah. You don't think they lying? Right. Right. You think they telling you the whole truth? Yeah. I they know, ain't even man. keeping it real with themselves. Right, right. But shout out Ray Montana. That's that's just my 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 only opinion. You know, you know, and you know, as an interviewer, you can't be too opinionated. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But what you was gonna say? <laughs> <laughs> so um do you think Red Montana was forthcoming? Yeah, I had talked to Red Montana last year. Whole time, you feel me? Um, and you know, she told me like, man, she like, I'm tired of this shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. she was cool, like she was cool on some shit. Like she wasn't trying to expose folks. You feel yeah. me? She like, man, she was just like, shit, what the fuck, man? I've been fucking with this nigga for years. Like, yeah. she kind of like, man, what's up? Yeah. Um, so at the time, she was, she told me she was like, you know. You know, one day I, uh, you know, one day I won't mind doing an interview, you know, but just not right now. Right. You know, this was last year. You feel me? So, um, yeah, so, you know, and you could tell in the interview, she wasn't trying to, she wasn't even trying to bash him. She yeah. just, she was speaking her truth. Yeah. But did she speak her truth, though? Because... I don't right. think she came up here and lied about having a relationship with that man at all. Did I, she say she had a relationship? Yeah. Just, yeah, because I, I watched the interview. I'm like, where did she say? She said, you know, she met him in 2012 or something like that. She was fresh out of eighth grade. Yeah, he was a few years older than her. but she didn't Do get your that. homework on how old Lil' Jay was yeah. in 2012. Yeah, she, she didn't... Um, she, I, feel like I didn't she ask no, her. She, I feel like she ain't getting no details of whether they was fucking around or not. So, so cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, I wasn't gonna ask her any sexual split yeah. questions. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Like, uh, but I mean, we're adults here. You yeah. feel me? If you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you if you hear that two people are dating as adults, you should know that sex is involved, yeah, right? right? You know what I mean? Right. So, you know, she said they was dating. Yeah. Okay. 
She said they were messing around. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, it's different terminology. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like, so, no, nah, I didn't have her telling me, you know, her, you know, whatever sexual, you know, activities they were having. But, um, yeah, they used to mess around. That's that's like, yeah, I just, yeah, yeah. 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 So, um, yeah, I, felt, I just felt like when she did the interview, she... Cause that's what I'm saying Like you said She didn't go into detail yeah. Cause she wasn't trying to like yeah. Overexpose yeah. him Or no shit like that I think she was she just, just hold, speak. She was just holding back But you know yeah. And she was nervous yeah, You feel me You could tell she was nervous People wanna know And stuff like that Yeah um, And that's her Love life Like that's her You feel me Private life Sex life So for her to even sit And share with Share what she did with us mm -hmm. You know what I mean uh, You know a lot of transgenders bro You know they They, they be getting killed You know yeah. what I'm saying yeah. Um, you know, so we don't discriminate at DJ UTV, bro. Right. I like to talk to people from 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 every which walk of life. You right. know what I mean? So for me, it's an honor and a blessing to be able to talk to a trans woman because I don't get to do it often. Right. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it was a great interview. You know, I I don't feel like she uh, you know, came up here and, and told us a bunch of BS. Like I said, and and, and rightfully so. You know. It's, she didn't have to come up here and yeah. spill all the beans. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? She didn't have to tell me every. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like shit, that's, she shared what she wants right. to share with us. Yeah, I just I didn't feel like she lied. I just felt like she was maybe trying to protect Lil J. Yeah, for you sure. For sure. So, um, but you interviewed. Um, there was other rumors about other transgender transgender. You interviewed and look, her. hold on, I don't mean to cut you off, but if she, if you could tell she trying to protect him, then then there's something there. You know what I'm saying? All right, there you go. There's something there. <laughs> come on, man. Right, you know I know you saying? know. Come right, on, right. Dad, come on, man. I'm just asking you, you know, for the fans. Yeah, yeah, It yeah. wasn't, like, clear. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. it's, it may be clear to me. Yeah, the you. fans. You know the, what I'm saying? The fans wanted her to be on that to awesome. Yeah, I used to Lil' Jake every night. Exactly. That's what the fans they want, wanted. They want to know right. the truth. They no, no up for debate. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that, that was... Trust me, having Red Montana, see, that's what I'm saying. You got to do your homework on Red Montana. You feel me? Okay. To have her sit on the couch. Wow, you know what I'm saying? Red Montana? Tell man, us. Man, so, man, look. Have you ever watched the show, um, The Shy, on Showtime? Yep, I watched The Shy. You know, so even on that show, you know, they got a character that's a trans woman. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's messing with a guy that's in the streets. Yeah, Luke you James. Right, yeah. the guy that Luke, you know, the character that Luke James played, right? Yeah. So, even though we do live in a world now that is promoting homosexuality more than it did in, you know, previous generations, it's like um, that's 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 what really be going on. Right, you feel me? In some situations, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, um. You know, there's nothing new under the sun. This shit don't be far fetched. Yeah. You know, like yeah. niggas be into what they be into. And you know, I've 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 interviewed like different like porn stars. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Sex workers and stuff like that. And um and I and I learned, you know, at the root of all of all of their you know issues was like some sexual molestation or something when they was young. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And 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 from that experience, they became some. You feel me? Some freak. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, Lil J probably had a, 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 he probably had some type of situation when he was young. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, the same way I feel about R. Kelly. You know what I'm saying? Folks had a situation when he was young. Mm -hmm. I got family that had situations when they was young, and it, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it, it tweaked out their sexuality. So, um, I feel like, um, bro should just, you know, be himself. You know what I'm saying? Of course, of course, that's that type of lifestyle is gonna be frowned upon. But in this day and age, you got many more people that will love you and respect you for who you are. Right. Versus, you know what I'm saying, being something that you're not. Or, you know. Yeah. So um you uh, I'm gonna move on from that, but let me see. So there's been videos of Lil J in jail. Right. The first he denied the first one. Right. Um. With the um person sitting on the lap. Right. You, you seen it? Mm-hmm. You think that was him? Yeah, I think it was him. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I think you're right, though. He should, you know, if that's the case, he should accept. Man, look, to, to, to sum it up, you feel me? If, if that's, first of all, because another thing, bro, niggas ain't putting this shit on his name for no reason. You know that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know well, that. So yeah, You know, but even you know. when you go to PC, niggas put everything on your name, too, though. But the, but not that like right. not so, all these allegations you know what I'm saying yeah and one day he'll go come out one day he go come out one day he ain't gonna be able to, he just gonna, he ain't gonna be able to take it no more you yeah. know what I'm trying to say your conscience will eat you up more than anything yeah. you feel yeah it's like a um you know relief get the yeah. shit off your shoulders yeah. so you interview other transgender um Miss something I don't want to say her real name Miss Toxic maybe that's it but um. There was rumors about him. Was there rumors about him messing with her? And yeah. she cleared it up? Um, yeah, she had denied. And she um, was going crazy on the phone? Oh, you talking about the other one? Okay, I know. You t- yeah, you talking about, uh, I ain't going to say her name. <laughs> she was like, don't say my name. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You said yeah, my yeah. whole government. <laughs> I got her government name. Right, 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 right. That's why I said like, I ain't going to say it. She was right. like, don't say her name. What's her name, Miss what? Arnold. No, Miss... I forget what they call it, but yeah. So she, there was rumors about her, and she cleared it up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she was in jail with. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so um, yeah, I talked to a few of them, bro. Yeah, she was going. How many you talked to? Three total, right? Rare Montana, Miss Toxic, and then um, that person we'll call the transgender thug. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she was going crazy on the phone. Right. Like she was mad at you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, she was mad at me because Bloodbath said her name in his interview. That's what that was from. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So um, there's uh, all these videos, right? So Free Bloodbath. Okay, so now that you mentioned Bloodbath, they Word. said one of them said he was at her door. <laughs> so locked up. I don't know about that. But you think he's saying that because he put his because he That's put, what Miss Toxic said. Right? Yeah. That's what she said. Yeah. So you think they were just saying that because he put their names in or he started Hey, I, hey, hey. I, Did you speak to him afterwards? Yeah, I talked to blood. I talked to blood all the time. Did he so. clear that up? Yeah, he denied it, of course. What did he say? He was like, man, he said, yeah, man, you know, you know, that's a lie. All right. <laughs> All right, so um, another person they drop videos on is FEG Butter. Word. Now, you've seen the videos. Yeah. What you think of the videos? Man. Well, uh, let's, uh, let's start with the fight one first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know Butter be beating ass. Call him Butter beat ass. Yeah. So um, <laughs> they didn't drop the fight ones first, though. Right. They dropped the other one. Right. When he was talking to the police? Yeah. <laughs> now, what you think about that? Shit. I don't know. That boy, Butter, he, he crazy. <laughs> now, I see you, you know, you fuck with Butter. You you know, y'all got y'all viral, viral moments. Mm-hmm. Um, Italian beef and Pepsi. Yeah. When's part two coming? Man, we need the Italian beef and Pepsi. Yeah. We need that. Uh, yeah. We need that part two. We we need to do a one year anniversary. Yeah, definitely. That's what we a, need to do. Definitely need a one year anniversary. Um, shout out to Butter. You know, we just sat down with him. Shout out to Butter. Word, too. word. Shout out yeah. to FBG Butter. Yeah. Um, butter Bucks. Yeah, you definitely get you some Butter Bucks. You know what I'm saying? Um, might be able to buy some shit with that too. You got yours? Yeah, I got my Butter Bucks. Word. Yeah, I got about a stack or something. Like <laughs> you, know what I'm saying? you got your? How much you got? Man. I think the last time he gave me like two of them. Okay, yeah, we gotta go to strip club or something. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so, um, one person in in Chicago that's pretty big on the net right now too is um Trenches News. Hey, shout out to Trenches for sure. He working. Yeah. He working, working, working. Shout out to Trenches. He's definitely working. So, um, what you think about his stories? Oh man, Trenches so damn funny, man. <laughs> You know, a lot of the fans be saying his stories be like, you know, fabricated, you know. Um, and I guess that's what comes with um, telling stories. Right. <laughs> but I think Trench's News, uh, 
eighty percent of his stories are valid. You know what I'm saying? From 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 the stories I've heard. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because they always come out later. That yeah, means. yeah, yeah, yeah. But a lot of them don't come out at all. Yeah. But <laughs> some stories people don't, might not want to come out though. Yeah. And you know, it, you being in all these situations, a lot of people are like, man, he's in, he's over here, he's over there. They, it's hard to believe. You know what I'm saying? And then surviving, especially in Chicago. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, yes, yeah, shout out to Trenches, man. Yeah. He tell any stories on you yet? Man, when I first started doing the interviews, he was telling his audience that uh, I w- that he stole my shoes in oh, Cook man. County Jail. You oh, feel me? And that shit was crazy, you know. He told, uh, you know, he was telling a story about how to, uh, how he stole my shoes. Mm-hmm. We was in Cook County Jail. I ain't never been cooked. I ain't never been locked up with trenches, you know. Yeah. And he was carrying that story for a minute on the low. Now, if you ask him, I know you just interviewed him. If you ask him, he gonna be like, "Nah, I got him mistaken for somebody else." Woo-woo. Like, nah, he knew that one me from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? He was just trying to run with him some content because I was upcoming and. You know what I mean? Um, so I had actually reached out to Trenches like early in my career on some shit like, um, you know, um, if you want to, if you want to, if you want to run with those type of stories, hit me in the DM and let me know. We could be on the same accord. You feel me? But uh, don't be playing with my name like that because I really don't play like that. Yeah. You feel me? Like you, I'm upcoming and you talking about. You stole my shoes. You making me sound like I a hoe or something. Like, nah, you can't do that. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, nah, I don't do that. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah so, so, that's part why you said 80% be true. That's part of the 20, huh? Yeah, that was the, that was part of the 20. Like I said, I was going to let him run with it. You know what I'm saying? Because I was peeping what he was doing. I'm like, oh, okay, well, whatever. I'm not a hater. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. He got a little audience and he doing his one, too. Okay, DJ, you coming up. Yeah, I stole that nigga's shoes in Cook County Jail. Yeah. All right, cool. If 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 you want to do shit like that, you got to hit me up and let me know. Like, hey, bro, you mind if I? Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm gonna have a problem with it, just like anybody else. Right. Um, and and you know, so I just you know, I just I just I just told him like you know I'm really rock like that, and um, uh, you know, we've been cool ever since type shit. He cleared it up though. Yeah, that's why I say we've been cool ever since. Yeah. Have you ever, you been in Cook County? Yeah, for sure. Oh, okay. When you was in Cook County? Man, like years ago, like over ten years now. You know. Back in, like, my early 20s. Yeah, what you was in there for? Just, like, in and out of rest. I've always had, like, petty, um, you know, getting caught with weed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Go in there, bond out type shit, you know? Okay. Um, recently, I just seen um, you did um, No Jumper. Yep. How'd that go? It was all right, man. Shout out to Adam, you know. Uh, took a flight out to L.A., you know what I'm saying? Um, no Jumper is a, is a, is a, is a, is a uh, podcast that... I actually, you know, studied before I started doing my one too. So um it was actually a surreal moment to yeah. be sitting across from Adam twenty two. Right. So he's interviewing you. Yeah. Did you ask him any questions? Cause you know what's going on. Hell yeah. I wanted to troll the shit out of him to be honest, man. Uh it, I had a lot of questions that I wanted to ask him, but nah, I didn't ask him, you know, I just let him do his one too, you know what I mean? I but I told him. It's a time and place for everything, and, and and I love to have him here on our couch. You feel me? So I could ask the questions that I have. You know? Did you um? Did you see his wife, Lena? Nah, I told him to tell. I said hello. <laughs> did you watch the video? Hell yeah, I watched it when it first came out, but I couldn't get jiggy with that shit. Why? That shit was weak. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't get jiggy with that. Shit. <laughs> so you didn't finish it. Um, no, nah, I definitely didn't watch the whole thing, but when it first came out, yeah, I clicked on it, you know, just yeah, to see, yeah, you know, yeah. what the fuck was going on. That shit was weak. Yeah, so, yeah, so you just, he was like, man, I'm, I'm off this. Man. Like, I done seen a lot of, you know, I done seen a lot of different porn in my life, you know what I mean? Okay. Um, that, yeah, that, that's your def- go-to? Uh, I don't have a go-to anymore <laughs> type shit, like, you know, that's. What you mean anymore? You had a go-to? I mean, you know, yeah, you know, when I was young, you know what I mean? I'm old now, you yeah. feel? I don't be into the same type of things I used to be yeah. into, especially when you get the interview on the porn stars. That make you look at porn in a whole different way. You be like, ugh, for real. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, shout out to uh, Thick-Ass Daphne okay. and Janice Hart. Yeah. Yeah, they're my go-tos. Oh, they're your go-tos? Yeah. Oh, okay. Shout out to them. So, um, 
Chicago's been on fire lately with the you know music scene and the interview scene and yep. you know what I'm saying all up and coming. One one person that's been out here making noise, doing all these um um interviews and running around doing music is uh, Kiddo, 051 Kiddo. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Kiddo. Okay, um, you sat down with him, you interviewed him, and then everybody answered, interviewed him after that. What? How'd you get on to Kiddo? Uh, well, shout out to um, shout out to that boy Wu. You know what I mean, yeah. Young Money. Um, you know, I be, I I I interviewed the whole city of Chicago. You know what I mean. So I be in tune with a lot of different guys, a lot of different hoods. You know, and so when Kiddo was on his way home, you feel me? I knew he was on his way home. I tapped in. You know, um, I tapped in with O Five One, and, and and we got it. We got we got it. We got it done. Yeah. How do you feel about his music? Cause it's a lot of dissing, in, in the music. I don't listen to rap, bro. What you listen to? I listen to R and B. I listen to Dusty's. Dusty. Know what I mean? What's that? And I listen to like old people music, yeah. old school music. I don't listen to none of that, none of that rah rah these young men be talking about. Yeah. So I haven't even listened to any of um, O Five One Kiddo's music. I heard he's dissing in his songs a lot. And um, me personally, I'm just not interested in consuming that type of um, content, right. you know, um, for, for my pleasure. Okay. What is Dusty's, though? You know, like, uh, I want to be, you know, Ronald Wisely now, okay. you know what I'm saying? Um Or I get off into some Teddy Pendergrass, you know what I mean? Um, some... Some Barry White, you feel me? Some yeah. Jerry Levert, some Luther Vandross, you know. That, that, that type of songs I like to listen to nowadays. You know I'm old. Okay. Um, speaking of music, I, I see you um, and what you're listening to. I see you, um, you still be DJing. Hell yeah, bro. That's my first love. So you still DJ because that's your first love? Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. That so, shit like riding a bicycle. Yeah. So you you're never gonna stop DJing. I mean, no. <laughs> you, I I mean like what you I can't. Um, I can't. I, I, like, I mean, cause I'm you, gonna always be DJ you. I I know you DJ. So so you got to keep up to your name and be. I'm just saying it ain't even like that's my name. That's literally who I am. Right. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like so. Yeah. Because you know your platforms. Big, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And I see you DJing parties, you know? Yeah. Normally you won't see that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I like to do it as well, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, and, well, yeah, people run up on you and, you know? Uh, all the time. Yeah. Yeah. What if somebody wants you to DJ and go on tour with them? Like who, a rapper? Yeah. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Not doing that no more? Hell no. Nah. Yeah. That's all the way over with. Now, nah, I tell you, I won't do that. I still be on tour with, uh, with Mojo Brooks, you know, that's a comedian. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'll rock out with bro, but getting on tour with a rapper? Yeah. Hell no. Nah. Yeah. So you go on tour with a comedian? Yeah, I go on tour with a comedian. It's a difference. Where y'all go? All over? Yeah, wherever he get booked. Like, yeah. we finna go to Ohio next. Hell yeah. For real? Hell yeah. Okay. He funny. I gotta check him out. Yeah, and folks got some motion. Okay. Like, he got a whole tour going on. I don't be on the road with him as much as I used to because I got the YouTube going, but yeah, I'm finna get on the road with him. Okay, recently too, um... Mama Duck. Word. She, she got hit by a car. My leg, my leg. That's what she said? My leg. <laughs> my neck, my back. My neck and my back. <laughs> Down. I'm going down. <laughs> Yeah, you yeah you trolling right now, man. Did, did you did you reach out to Mama Duck, man? And make sure everything is good, man. Because I know you you did you you had her on your platform. Yeah, we we okay. we interviewed Mama Duck before. Okay. Shout out to Mama Duck. You yeah. Know. So is it, it, did you reach out to her? Nah, sure nah. I, I haven't reached out to Mama Duck in a while, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so uh, is that what happened in the video when she was saying my my leg? 
Because I didn't watch the I, video. I just. Oh, yeah, 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 I, yeah, 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 yeah. She, she. Yeah, because I just heard about it. So I'm like, damn. I mean, it, it seemed as if she was in extreme pain. Yeah. Um, and I, I believe she got on the um, internets shortly thereafter. Um, I think I saw some of her at FYBJ, man. Yeah. Now, I didn't see her in the hospital. I didn't see a cast. On her leg, I didn't see her with any crutches. I ain't see her in a wheelchair, or nothing. So you know, my leg. I don't know. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, you crazy man. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, shout out to Mama Duck, man. You know she she's been through. Has a anybody life. seen her leg? I seen a video. I think it was with Fybj Main, right? Where she was moving her legs. But I didn't see Did she flip the camera and show her leg? Like, look, y'all, that's why I got hit. No, she was moving them. Like, she was good. Uh, I think she was... Um, yeah, I mean, then, and then when you look at the video, it ain't like he ran her over. Yeah, you I feel know. me? He probably... It looked as if he probably, like, had smashed her up against yeah. something, like the mm-hmm. other car. Mm-hmm. It looked like it was, like, mm-hmm. two cars right there. Um, but, yeah, shout out to Mama Duck. Yeah. Um, she crazy. Shout to, yeah, shout out to Mama Duck. Um, let me ask you this. You you sat down with a lot of people, you interviewed a lot of people. Who are you looking forward to? Who's who you want to interview the most? Like man, we finna get the whole. The we finna get the whole Chicago in here. The whole Chicago. Man, you already interviewed the whole Chicago. No, I what haven't. Are you talking about no, I haven't. Okay, what you talking? Have about? you seen Kanye West on my couch? Okay. Have what you seen you? Common on my couch? Okay. Have you seen Twist on my couch? Okay. Keep talking. Have you seen Oprah on my couch? Oprah. It do hit different with Oprah. It's a Chicago legend. Right. And who so who you want to interview the most? Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. <laughs> and that shit go. <laughs> Come on, man. You trolling. Hey, I'm man. dead ass, boy. We have Mike on the couch, boy. Yeah. I just be, you know, but uh man, I just wanna um I'm just really interested in anything that's Chicago related. You know what I'm saying? Um, cause Chicago got the sauce, bro, and like the sauce. I mean, the proof is now in the pudding for sure. Yeah, I sat on no jumper, and when he asked me, you know, what made you start doing the interviews or whatever, I told him. I said because I was looking at big platforms like yourself, say cheese, DJ Vlad. Y'all get y'all best content from Chicago. Yeah, he was like, you know what, you're right. Yeah. I know I'm right, bro. I've been studying this shit for a long time, mm-hmm. so. Um, now I feel like I'm competing with those bigger channels with one million or more subscribers. Right. Say Cheese, No Jumper, um, Cam Capone. You know what I'm saying? This is my competition now. Right. They're interviewing people that I live down the street from. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So now it's for me to just continue to innovate. You know what I mean? Um, like I told, I told Adam, you know, he asked me about FYBJ Man, you know. I told him that guy, he's 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 one of a kind, but he's also one of many. Yeah. If you know what I'm trying to say, not to discredit him, because he is one of a kind, but he's also one of many. Right. There's other Chicago niggas that's funny as yeah. fuck. It do hit yeah. different. You got to you got to do your homework. Yeah. So I just want to display a lot of different Chicago personalities, a lot of different Chicago talents. Um, a lot of different Chicago stories. Right. You know what I'm saying? I got I got dreams of like interviewing like the Obama twins. You know what I'm saying? Um, Cause when have you heard them say anything? Right. You feel me? So I'll be thinking about real exclusive shit like that. You know? Okay, so um, that's that's all Chicago people. Let's talk about outside of Chicago. Word. Who would you? I mean, you know, outside like, of Chicago, who, like you, like man, I gotta get that interview. I mean, it outside of Chicago, person. you know, it's 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 unlimited. You know what I mean? Um, the world is yours. You know, the earth is your turf. So, uh, everybody got a story. Yeah. You feel me? Um, so shit, I don't have a I don't have a specific person. You know, yeah. I like for one interview to lead to the next. Right. Um. So yeah, outside of Chicago, I don't know. I, I'm really trying to sit here and think. You know, just to answer the question, but. Yeah. Um, I feel like if I say Jay Z, that'd be head ass. So what you mean? You know, what I mean that's like oh, okay, Jay Z. You know, because everybody say that type or? shit. I mean, it's just a you know, it's just a common response type yeah, shit, right? Yeah. But um, nobody, nobody, you know, 
Fleece Johnson. Fleece Johnson. Is that the guy that he was locked up? Yeah, that's – yeah. And what was yeah, he that's doing? what I want to interview. What was he doing when he was locked up? I don't know. They said he was in there doing a whole bunch of crazy was, was he taking booty? That's <laughs> what they said? Is that the guy? What did he say? Booty more important than life. That's what he said. Yeah. yeah. And he's out on the streets, though. Yeah, he out, he out doing interviews. I'm trying to get in tune with him. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, <laughs> I wouldn't even say Pause. shout out to, yeah, yeah. I, you know, but um, <laughs> um, Chicago, what you think about the violence in Chicago? Because compared from now to back in the day. Because I looked at the numbers as far as the murders. Word. And I feel like the murders back in the day, there was way more murders. If you go 30 years ago from now, there was more murders. Mm -hmm. So what do, you, what do you think about Chicago? But it's been consistent, though, like 700, 600. That's a lot of murders, man, a year. To be honest, I don't have any thoughts because I don't even pay attention to the murder rate. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm blessed to say that in my 32 years of life, I've never seen anyone get shot. I've never seen anyone um, dead. You know what I'm saying? I haven't seen, you know, other than a funeral in a cask. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. I've never seen, like, a dead body out on the street or no shit like that, you know? Um, and, you know, like, even when I just told you about you know the situation with King Von. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was, I was, I was in the, I was in the area in which I heard, but I wasn't there. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, I thank God for that. Right. You feel me? Um, I don't look forward to that. Right. You know what I'm trying to say? So, um, it kind of so 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 in regards to the violence here in the city that I'm born and raised in. It, in a way, it's kind of like, uh, like it feel like um, it be happening under my nose type right, shit. Right. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like, yeah, I be hearing about yeah. it, but I ain't never. You ain't seeing it. It's feel different. me? Yeah. So, I like to keep it that way. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't like to dig into the, into the like that's some shit I, I turn my head to. Yeah. You feel me? When the news come on, or or let's say I'm scrolling my phone and I see like this past weekend. Um, nine wounded and fourteen shot. I keep I keep yeah. scrolling. I don't click it to yeah. see where, who. I just keep scrolling. So I ask you that because um, a lot of people like to get on the youth and say, "Back in my day, you know what I'm saying." But I, I look back in your day, it was same shit going it was on. The same shit. It's yeah. less murder. But now, these, so just like, you know, none of it's good. You know what I'm saying? But it's like. You, how do you stop it? Like, what, what's the solution? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, the solution will always be um, community service. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We need more community service. Community service is something that's um, important to my heart. It's something that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get into. Last year, we did a toy drive, you know, mm -hmm. and we're trying to do, like, a back-to-school drive right now. Um but even as I even as even as I think about it right now, like me personally, like you know, it got to be more community service than 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 holidays and right. special occasions. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, because community service it kind of give hope to the hood when you see somebody able to give back, yeah. regardless of what their profession is. If you can just see somebody in the hood giving back. It'll give another person hope. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that hope is contagious. Mm -hmm. You feel me? When one person get off their ass and figure that they could do something, that energy, you know what I'm saying, transforms or, or, or transfers to others. Some still sit down and don't do nothing because you got people like that. Right. But uh, I feel like if we had community service, you know, often in Chicago... That could help the youth give something, get, have something positive to look forward to. Mm -hmm. See, right now, all the youth have to look forward to is negative, like negativity. Like, like you got young guys who, yeah, they looking forward 
to listen to the next Lil Durk album. But listen to what Lil Durk's saying in his music. So now they are looking forward to doing what Lil Durk is talking about in his music. Mm -hmm. Let's just be real. Feel me? We could listen to this stuff all day. We could brush it off and act like, you know what I'm saying, it's not poison to our mind. You feel me? We could turn our head to it because these niggas getting money and we trying to get money and we trying to interview them. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, man, let's call a spade a spade. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Our community is, is messed up. Because of the message that we send to our community through the music. We listen to these songs with these, with these up-tempo beats and they make us feel good. And we just want to emulate whatever that song is saying at that time. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, so we just got to be involved more, you know what I'm saying, as adults, you know. Because um, cause, cause time is of the essence, you feel right. me? And every day is another young brother dying who... Who who death could have been prevented had he had uh, another route to take. Right. I tell people all the time it's a race against time. Like you choose what you want to spend your time on, you know? Like man, some shit you just don't get back, you know? But um do you ever think about moving out of Chicago? I've moved out of Chicago before. I used to uh live in Atlanta, Georgia, actually, you know? Yeah. And I'm damn near still a resident in Atlanta, um, technically. Yeah. But, uh, you know, home, sweet home. There's no place like home. You feel me? Yeah. So you that's know. a no. You know, I'm planning on moving back out of Chicago. Nah, probably buy, not. Buy you know, somewhere else. You got kids? I mean, outside of Chicago, yeah. But, like, like relocating, like, yeah. like probably, like, far as hell. Like, hell no. You know? Yeah. But outside of Chicago, yeah. You know? Yeah. You got kids? Nope. Okay. So when you, you plan on having them? Um. Yeah. One day. So when you have kids, you, you okay with raising them here? Probably not in the um. City. I mean, yeah, I would never raise my kids in the area that I was raised. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I raise them here. Okay. Just Chicago, not a bad city. Yeah. For real, it's like just Chicago. certain. It's just certain areas. You just gotta know where you at. You know what I'm saying? That's all. But Chicago ain't no. Like I like you know Adam twenty two asked me that and every time somebody asks me that, it kind of, I don't know it's kind of it it make me feel away every time because it's like, like, am I supposed to move? Right. Or like if you feel like I'm supposed to move, it's like why 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 like why I gotta move? You I ask you that because a lot of people say that right move out of Chicago and I'm the same way right I live in Boston right and I went through some things when I was young and people kept saying that move move and I'm like I'm not going nowhere right? I'm not leaving so um i'm still stubborn well well i'll say this though i'll say this you know i don't plan on leaving but go ahead i will say this um i did that already you know what i'm saying like that's a um that's a leap of faith you know what i'm saying to relocate you know from your hometown that concept is a leap of faith so that's what i'm saying i already took that i already did that so Nah, like, I ain't interested in doing it again. You know what I'm saying? Like, I did it, and, yeah, I'm back. Yeah, so. So I was in A for three years. So let me say this to you. I did it, too. And I went to Atlanta in 2004 to 2005. But it was like I was never gone because I came home every month. You know what I'm saying? But people kept saying, yo, you just need to. I was going through a bunch of shit at the time. They're like, oh, just move. I'm I'm not. I felt like, yo, I'm running if I leave. You know, I'm not going nowhere. But, um. I ended up going down there um, with my ex-girlfriend at the time in 2005. I was like, man, fuck that. I'm going back home. And I'm not going to lie, bro. Chicago need me. Yeah. That's just how I feel because I feel like if Chicago don't have DJU, it's ugly I, out I here. feel like Chicago needs you, These crazy. Too. These niggas I feel is crazy. Like you, I'm the only one with some sense. Yeah. I, you, and you gave them, you giving them a platform, and you're showing them something different. Like, you could, you don't got to do this. You could do something else and make something of yourself. You know what I'm saying? You doing it without all the dissing, without all the drama, without all That's that. That's what I'm you know saying. What I'm saying? Yeah. You doing it, so you showing them. But, I, <clears throat> I'm, like I said, I was, I'm the same way. So, when people say, even now, they're like, you, you know how you say you moved to... Maybe a little wit, bit away. I, I just won't leave Boston. Even right. I don't want to move thirty minutes away, twenty minutes away. I'm like, no, I'm gonna stay right here. You know, like I don't care. Like I'm just like, 
no, I love my city. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. No matter what's going on, I'll be like, nah, I'm staying right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I, I, I moved away, though, just to, you know, because um, you, you will learn a lot, you know what I'm saying, if you move away from home and you all out, you know, on your own. Yeah. Um, but I don't think I mean for some people it is, but for myself that wasn't um a permanent move. Right. I learned a lot when I was in the eight O's three years, you feel yeah. me? And yeah, like I got nigga nigga, we talk about the A all day, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like when Von died, you know, that's when it was like, all right, well, I'm damn near ready to go back home. Right. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right. So So um What's in store for DJU? Cause last time I was here, mm-hmm. you told me you was um, you was gonna expand. Mm-hmm. You know, was looking out to reach, and I, you did that. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So, what's in store for you? Now? I was gonna say, man. Usually, I am good about doing what I told him if I was gonna yeah, do. You yeah. almost had me scared. I thought you were gonna say I told you something and I ain't do it. Nah, you did. You you definitely did that. I, you know, I pay attention, man. You know, what yeah, I'm saying? Like, yeah. Definitely still in expansion mode, you know, so mm-hmm. we just left Cali, you feel me? Um, and, and I could feel that. Um, transition? Well, not the transition, but, you know, the yeah, I could feel that expansion. Yeah. I could feel it, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, we are reaching, you know, other areas, other yeah. people, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So that's cool, you feel me? Um, so now, um, like, I, like I said when I was giving you my whole spiel about Chicago, now... <laughs> I just really want to get the raw ass, exclusive ass Chicago story, Chicago guests. So all the guys that you know, the kids be talking about, the fans want to see. I just want to bring them in um, and, and, and make history right here in my city. Mm-hmm. You know, because expanding is cool and it's fun, but like I said, as I take a look at my competition, yeah, they getting all their content from Chicago. So I'm not gonna play the fool. Yeah. That's what they want me to do. Yeah. I'm finna stay right here and pound it out. Right. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Cause it's a lot, bro. I had wrote down a whole bunch of names, you know, from Chicago that we haven't had on this couch. And it made me impressed with myself. Like, damn, I done reached these heights without interviewing G Herbo, yeah. without interviewing Lil Dirk, without yeah. interviewing Polo G, mm-hmm. without interviewing Jeremiah. You know what I'm saying? Common, Shauna, Twister, Lupe Fiasco. You feel me? Tink, Dreezy, Anne Marie, Bump J. Like, when, when you talk about Chicago legends, the list goes on and on and on. And I done put myself up there with the legends, and I ain't even talked to them yet. The brat, Lisa Ray. You know what, you know what I'm saying? saying? Keep going, man. You know you got to get Lisa Ray on the, man, on the couch players club. Literally. You know I mean? That's what I'm saying. So, yeah, I just want to, uh, I just really want to display Chicago. Now that I'm realizing that Chicago is, you know what I'm saying, um, a favor in the YouTube world, I just want to show them how raw Chicago is. Yeah. Because Chicago, it really is a raw ass city. And like, you know, a lot of the world that they lingo from Chicago, the thoughts, yeah. the, uh, 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 what's the other word? The whoop. <laughs> right, the, the whoop. whoop. Uh, but ops, no, that's the word I was looking for. You know, thoughts and ops. Yeah. Everybody got thoughts and ops. That yeah. came from Chicago, yeah. you know what I mean? And now um, we having trendsetters like FYBJ, man, you know, mm-hmm. with the whoops and the, it hit difference. Yeah, it hit different. And, uh, you know, we got personalities with like, you know, FBG butter, you know what I'm saying? Um, just funny. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. These are these are regular guys from the hood. They're not necessarily comedians, but they funny. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. And they making the people laugh and they generating a lot of views. Um, so it's you know, it's it's a it's a positive movement that we're having going on in Chicago. I feel like I'm the leader. You know what I'm saying? Um we got guys like Tay Savage, who just got done doing 10 years, and now he's an interview and saying that he's going to be the one that's going to bring Chicago back together. Yeah. No one has said that. Yeah, right. No one has sat in the interview and said, hey, man, I'm going to be the one that's going to bring Chicago back together. Yeah. And I just seen Tay Savage say that on Say Cheese, so I definitely want to salute him just for saying that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just for having the balls to say, hey, it's going to be me. Yeah, hopefully that happens. Because it's going but, but, but to take... More than one. You see what I'm saying? One man can change the world, yeah. but it's going to take more than one. You see what I'm saying? But 
It starts with that. It starts. What he just said, it sparked a light in somebody else, myself included. Right. If 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 he could sit down and say, I'm going to be the one to bring Chicago back together, my response is, okay, I'm going to help you. Right. So that's why I met with it. Okay. And Chicago, man, you know, FYB, J. Main told him, do your homework. So kids. Yeah, yeah. Homework. And me and J. Main about to do a uh, back to school drive yeah. together as well for the yeah. kids. That's going to be big. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because they need to see us. You feel he me? He told him, do your homework. Lil Reese told you, do some research. Yeah. So you yeah. kids, y'all better be learning from yeah. this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, I got a question before we get up out of here. Um, Word. If people come to Chicago, where should they go eat? Man, it depends on what you want to eat, right? There's so many different uh, okay. foods in Chicago. Give me the soul food. Give me the pizza. Yeah. And give me the seafood. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, so so as far as soul food is concerned, right, um, it's a few different restaurants. Um, I think about, like, MacArthur's Out West. Uh-huh. You know, that's a popular joint. You know what I mean? Um... I think about uh, Sule out west. You feel me? That's a real popular joint. Um, you know the pizza. You know if you want deep dish, you can go Giordano's. You know if if if, if you if you got a hood or if you in the hood, you go to Italian Fiesta because it's Italian Fiesta. It's only in the hood on the south side of Chicago. It ain't in no suburbs. It ain't out west. Yeah. Um, then you know you got beggars. That's a real. You know uh-huh. that's the suburban pizza. Uh-huh. And shit, seafood, uh, where you go for seafood? Because I ain't going to lie, I'm allergic to seafood, so oh, I ain't really man. hip. Um, I think they go to uh, Docks or something. Yeah. Docks and um, Red Lobster. <laughs> okay, where we about to go eat right now, though? Man, we should go to, uh, you know what? We should go to, we should go somewhere black owned. Mm-hmm. What's today, Wednesday? I bet. I think we should go to the L station. That's what I'm feeling like. Okay. What they got over there? They got these raw ass jerk tips. That's what I'm feeling like. Okay, get. jerk. I'm okay. I'm with the jerk five. stuff. You know, let's let's get it. You know what yeah, I'm saying? They downtown. Is it, it's like Jamaican food too? Or no? Just, they just got jerk tips. They got jerk tips. They got some more shit. Like, you know, lamb chops and okay, you know yeah. what I mean. That woo, sound woo. like because um, I'm thinking about the L station or I'm thinking about Jordan Soul Cafe. Let's go do it. Let's hit it. Jordan's got a hit, but let's hit them both. <laughs> um let me say this too before we leave. You know, I wanna you know, cause a lot of people say pictures. stuff behind the camera. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's cool, but I wanna say this on camera. You Word. know what I'm saying? Like I appreciate you. Like yeah, real for sure. So. You know, ever since you know I came out here last time. You looked out for me. You know what I'm saying? No Word. problem. Like how you said, I ain't a hater. DJ, you definitely not a hater. You know what I'm saying? So sure. you looked out for me, and I really appreciate it, man. So, you know, I fuck with you. you yeah. I appreciate it for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I appreciate you coming yeah. out, man. I'm all about spreading love, bro. You feel me? Because um, that's that's what make the world go around, in my opinion. You feel me? Like So just just spread love. It ain't going to hurt you. Yeah. It ain't going to hurt you, bro. Yeah. You feel me? And... Helping people ain't gonna hurt you either because everybody need help. Yeah. You feel me? I didn't get to where I'm at without help. You know what I'm saying? I didn't do all this shit on my own. You feel me? You see folks over there, he be helping me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like folks over there helping you. Yeah. We all need, you know what I'm saying, each other. So if there's any, if there's anything I can lend a helping hand with, brother, you know, you know I got you. All right. Appreciate it. That's that's love, man. For sure. Um hit us with your outro, man. For sure, man. Just uh Man, make sure y'all subscribe to the Ghetto Report podcast first. You know what I'm saying? You know, it'd be a lot of viewers that don't be hitting the subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all subscribe to the Ghetto Report podcast, man. And when you get done doing that, then you can go to DJ UTV and subscribe to that as well. Yeah. You feel me? So click both of them. It ain't going to hurt you. You ain't got to pay, you know. Um, but it'll mean a lot to us. You know what I'm saying? If you could just click that. Shout out to everybody that's listening. Uh, shout, out to the, shout, shout out to Boston. You know what I'm saying? And um man, shout out, shout out, shout out to the Ghetto Report podcast because um the future is bright. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's it, man. DJ, you go crazy. Wow.
I'm caught up in this fast life. Every morning that I pray. Gotta make it out some way. Put a smile.